Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank the gentlelady lady from Texas for her stellar leadership and for co-anchoring tonight and for all of the support that she has continued to give uh, in the leadership of the um, CBC. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I rise this evening to speak about the importance of passing the Build Back Better Act, legislation nothing short of transformational for black America. It extends the child care credit for a year, cutting child poverty in half. In North Carolina, uh, that's a lifeline for hundreds of thousands of children who go to bed hungry every night. It puts $150 billion towards affordable housing, which has been described as the single largest and most comprehensive investment in affordable housing in history. In Charlotte, uh, so many other and so many other communities across the country, that's real progress on our affordable housing crisis and real relief for over a half a million Americans who don't have a roof over their heads. As the chair of the CBC HBCU caucus and co-founder of the congressional bipartisan HBCU caucus, I'm proud to say that this package provides approximately $10 billion specifically for historically black colleges and universities and other minority serving institutions including $3 billion for research and development grants at these institutions and $6 billion for increased Pell Grants and institutional support to lower the cost of college. And universal child care and pre-K will prepare children to receive the education that they need to succeed in school and be admitted to college. As the co-founder and co-chair of the Black Maternal Health Caucus with Representative Underwood, I'm also proud to say that the Build Back Better Act includes all eligible provisions of our omnibus legislation and permanently expands year-long postpartum Medicaid and CHIP coverage in every state. The maternal health and mobility crisis in this country is unacceptable, but the Build Back Better Act gets us closer to the day when, when every parent who enters the maternity ward and every child born in America makes it home safe. And finally, I'd like to take a point of personal privilege to recognize the hard work of our Congressional Black Caucus Chair, Joyce Beatty, and all of the members and committee chairs on this legislation. I believe that promises made uh, must be promises kept and that this package keeps our promises to all Americans. I implore my colleagues uh, to pass the Build Back Better Act and the bipartisan infrastructure framework together. This is our power our message. Thank you.